Jamel Elliott's team will need a Herculean effort to stay in this ball game. They have never defeated UConn in the history of these two teams in their series. Lost two and three times last year, twice in the regular season, also in the American tournament. And Brianna Stewart didn't take much time. Another convincing win over Central Florida. Won that one 100 to 45, and no starter played more than 23 minutes. Morgan Tuck is a right hand. She's also very excited about the recruiting class she has coming in. Jefferson kicks it out to Stewart, left open, and she buries it. It's three and a half minutes into the game. Jefferson gets it over to Nurse. Mosqueda Lewis a couple of feet behind the three-point line. Makes it even more difficult, not just for Cincinnati to handle the ball, but to see the floor. Easy block for Brianna Stewart, Connecticut number one in the nation in block shots. Under 14 minutes left to go, so it took them over six minutes to score. Mosqueda Lewis automatic. Oh. Gabby Williams, so Jim Ryan able to get to his bench early again in this game. Against Cincinnati, they're in their man to man. They worked on a zone yesterday, but it's so this difficult as well. And with Louisville now in the ACC a competition once they get into conference. He's not mic'd up right now. <laughs> yes. All right, Jefferson finally hits her first shot after missing order on the floor for the Huskies. Gabby Williams played a team high minutes in their last game. And and it's to the point now, because Gino is such a perfectionist and because he demands excellence, the players now, they demand it of themselves. They execute. Uh, Connecticut does to go out and play hard. Shot clock winding down. Nurse. And that in this game. They have two players in double figures in Mosqueda Lewis and Brianna Stewart. And the starting five is back out there for the Huskies on their way to winning horrendous passer into the post, which has never really had to do it. And neither did Jefferson coming out of high school. This is something that Mar Mariah does well, and that's beat everybody down the court. It's a different Just role for her. Because she has to work harder. That was Can hitting the first three-point uh, successfully for the nation. They're first in the nation in so many categories. There are 14 statistical categories in the American Conference, and UConn is number one in 12 of those 14. And we talk about UConn players always moving. Williams gets it inside and kisses it off the glass last year. Ball, 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 but he does get his players to play hard all the time and play precisely. Boy, that's a great look from Jefferson into Stewart. He just finishes. Then last year. So they're still adjusting to their roles. This is their 19th game of the season. Good patient. Stokes inside. There's what you want to see from her. She and Nurse, so much experience playing for the Canadian senior team the last couple of years. There she is with the basketball. And it goes in. Yeah. I love it. Her grandfather, Hill's grandfather, is Hall of Famer Hal Greer. And Excellent. So Gina Oriana starting clears bench a little bit more. Shot clock ticking away. Chong found an opening. Not only three minutes yet to go in this game. Chong from the outside. Boom. We'll come against Cincinnati on February 3rd in Hartford. Two in a row for Chong. That the Pro Bowl is coming your way tonight on ESPN, and the UConn fans give a big cheer. Only a few, but those are the only uh, ones I choose to remember. Well, that's good. Selective memory gets us through a lot of heartaches. 96 to 31, an absolutely, absolutely dominating performance again for the Huskies. Jamel Elliott gets the hug and the pat on the back from her old buddy and old coach, Gino Oriema.